up, everybody? This is Dr. Guy, and I'm back with another episode of I Won't Sell the TV. Um, I appreciate all the love on the first video. Um, so today I have some good stuff for you, so I hope you can stick around and check that out. Um, but before we go into today's topic, I want to tell you two things quickly. The first is that the site has been opened. Um, well, partly open. It's for pilot members. So if you are not a pilot member and you want to be a pilot member to explore the site, you have to email me at admin at I won't settle.com and you need to go to I won't settle.com right now and enter your information so you can be on our new uh, listserv and you can get all the information. Um, also, I know you watch these videos and it's me talking to you. But if you want to interact with myself live and Miss Shavanta Arline live, you can definitely do that this coming Sunday. This Sunday, we are having a live video discussion. Um, you don't want to miss it because we're going to introduce the site to you. Plus, we're going to have a live discussion about relationships. And you can get on camera or you can type or you can talk on your microphone. I'll be on camera. She'll be on camera. And we're going to have a good time. So if you want to have a live interaction, um, i send y'all the link, but hold on. I don't know how to send you the link. So you need to go to IWontSettle.com, submit your information, and click the I'm Interested button. And that's the way I have your email address where I can send you the link so that you can join us on that live discussion. Um, so let's jump into today's topic. I wanted to go back to a tweet I wrote, and I actually like this tweet because I see so many people who go through this situation. And it says, when your mate brings darkness... You can only be dim at best. To fully illuminate, sometimes you have to break free of the darkness. And I see so many people who are a lot dimmer than they are supposed to be. People who are not happy. People who, at one point, they were just full of joy. But then they got with somebody who brought all this darkness into their life. And when I say darkness, I mean drama. A person who's not for them. A person who's, um, you know, toxic. A person who... Uh, mistreats them, you know, a person who doesn't have your best interest at heart. And so I've seen so many people who go, on, go who goes from being just this happy person to being sad. And it's very unfortunate because at best you can be dim because you're thinking about what's going on in your relationship. See, when you have a happy relationship, you don't have to worry about the extra drama. And you are free to illuminate fully. You are free to be happy. You are free to walk around and not have distractions for for college students, sometimes when you are dim, you are in class, you, your light can't shine because you can't focus on your studies. You can't focus on what the professor is talking about. Um, for some people who are not in college, if you're at work, you can't focus on doing a great job at work because you're worried about this other person, what they're doing, what they're not doing. Um, and so it makes you dim at best. And you are supposed to be at 100% at all times. Your light is supposed to shine because you have so much to offer the world. You have... Um, um, people who are looking up to you and you're supposed to shine 100% but if you have a person around you who brings darkness then you're gonna only be dim at best and so if you have that person I would say you really need to reevaluate your situation you know are most of your days like dim meaning are most of your days like somber kind of sad you may have a happy moment but it's not always happy. I'm not saying that relationships are supposed to be happy 100% of the time because that's just unrealistic. But then I will say that a majority um, you know, of your time should be happy. I'm happy 90-something percent of the time. We have our disagreements. Those are what I consider the dim moments. There's never any dark moments. But we have some dim moments in my relationship. And so that's okay to have dim moments. But if your life is dim and then at best you are dim and then the rest of it is darkness, that's a problem. You need to uh, look at your situation and say, is this a healthy situation for me? And so I want the best for you. In 2013, we want the best for you. And so don't settle for just a dim relationship. Yes, it's a little light that's illuminating, but it's not the full illumination. And so in 2013, don't settle. And let us help you not settle. Um, we're going to continue to do these videos. Make sure you go check out the site, IWontSettle.com. Um, our Facebook group, we always putting stuff on there. Our Twitter account, we are always putting stuff on there. Our goal is to help you not settle in 2013 and many years to come. And so I hope you appreciated this video. Let me know what you think in the box. I want to know what your comments are for this video. And make sure you share them with everybody else. Y'all have a blessed day and we will be back next week. Y'all might get to see Shavanta on here. She might do next week's video. So um, just keep a lookout for I Won't Set a TV. God bless you and have a great day.